War II plane will be removed from a burn-it runway in the coming days. The Blue Bonnet Bell crashed with 13 people on board. The National Transportation Safety Board is now on scene to start its investigation. They say a preliminary report won't be out for six months to a year. Today, we spoke to a former NASA engineer and licensed pilot who gave us in-depth insight into what could have happened. The three pillars of the man, the machine, and the environment. Michael Slack has spent a lot of time around airplanes. He's a former NASA engineer and now an aviation attorney. On top of that, I fly and operate a World War II North American AT6 uh, Texan. Slack says he's seen the video of the crash, and one thing is clear. It showed the aircraft on its takeoff run, and one of the very telling things to me was that the aircraft, uh, the tail never came up. It appeared that the aircraft was not, had not achieved flying speed even a considerable distance down the runway, but the pilot tried to force it off the runway. The Blue Bonnet Bell is considered a tail dragger, meaning the pilot needs to hit a certain speed to raise the tail before takeoff. Slack also says the heat could have played a factor. A winter day, you get all kinds of nice performance out of your aircraft. On a hot summer day, high temperatures, uh, elevation like burn it, 1,200 feet above sea level with high temperatures, then you can get impaired performance. Turn, 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 turn. The Burnett, Texas uh, runway wasn't long enough for the run that they needed uh, on that day and uh, different uh, set of circumstances. I think the pilots probably would have wanted to abort that takeoff and try it again on another day, but uh, that's not the outcome we're dealing with and we go from there. Now, time to move forward after losing such a large piece of the past. You feel for the people first and the airplane second. Uh, but the, the loss of these airplanes is always notable. Uh, there's a lot of time and effort put into restoring the planes. And Slack also adds, it's a miracle no one was killed. And since the plane caught fire so quickly, gas had already dispersed, making survival unpredictable.